is on balls.co.za. Weekdays 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Joining me with her lovely beanie on and nice and warm in Cape Town, it's the delightful Dorothy Black. Hello, Dottie. Hello, are we Dottie? Yes. Oh, I love this question. Yes. I on. love this question. It says, hello, Dot. How are you? I, I want... does not say that. Okay, it doesn't. It says, I want to break up with my boyfriend, but I don't know how. He's really sweet, but there's just zero chemistry and we don't really have very much in common. We've been dating for about eight months. I just don't want to hurt him and I feel like a terrible person because there's really no reason other than I just fell out of love with him. We have a ton of friends in common and I don't want this to mess the circle up. Oh, also, <laughs> I'm really mad into madly into his boyfriend. So that could be a problem. What do I do? Should I tell him? About the friend. <laughs> it's hysterical. Uh, no. no, don't tell him about the friend. No. Don't do it. Um, you know what's interesting is that comments about um the connected friend circle. Yeah. And um and I heard a I heard a, a a term the other day for like couples. It's like you're not just going out with this guy or this woman. You're going out with their entire friend circle because the friend circle hangs out together all the time and they do yeah. everything together all the time. Um, and it's like a little bit creepy and enmeshed to me in a way. Um, so my my first thing is like, it's shitty about the friendship circle, but it's, you know, you're not going out with the whole group, yes. you know, and you can make other friends. Very good point. Uh, do not tell your boyfriend, soon to be ex-boyfriend, about the friend, his friend that you're into. Just don't do it. There's no reason for it. Yes. That's not part of the information he needs. No. Um, he so might he find it out. He might find it out in two weeks' time when you're dating him. But that's well, okay. Know, I mean, show a little bit of, show a little bit of, um, what's the Restraint. thing? A little bit of elegance and class about it, maybe. You know, wait a little bit before you hook up with someone's friend your ex's friend. I mean, how long, and I don't know if there's like some, some sort of set amount of time, mm. but you know, eight months isn't terribly long. And if it wasn't like crazy intimate, then whatever. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't say anything and I would wait a while before you make a move on your ex's friend. Um, but how, how to go about breaking up, you know, I did a column a while back about breaking up with manners. Um, and it's really just a case of like breaking up doesn't have to be this big, drama and you don't have to worry about his feelings i mean obviously you need to you know not be a douchebag about it but you know somebody else's feelings aren't isn't it's not really your responsibility to manage how they're feeling or how they're going to take it all you need to do is sit down especially in your case and just be like mm. it's not really working out anymore it's been really great um but i think it's time for us to move on boom bing bada boom really nothing like bigger or more complicated than that you make it sound so easy dot uh you know what like I don't think, I think a lot of the times when it's these sort of relationships where the chemistry isn't really there and it's been going out for a few months, you know, it's not eight years. It's not, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. 10 no, years. You don't have kids together. You don't have a house together. You know, no one's cheated on anyone. No one's, there's no big news to break other than you're probably into his friend. But, you know, that aside, this isn't a big drama. So don't make it a big drama. If you're not no. into someone, you're simply not into them and it's time to move on. And you're not doing anyone any favors by hanging out, you know, for what? For their good to make them feel better. It's going to hurt in the long run, the longer you stay in there and he finds out much later that you weren't really into him the whole time. You know, that's, that's actually shittier. Yeah. No, no, no. That, yeah. That, yeah. It's a good point. It's, it's a tough, yeah, but it, it's just still, it's always, it's not that easy and eight months, even though it doesn't seem like a long time, they seem to be quite intertwined amongst the friends and that's... The friends, but that's yeah. a different story. Yeah, and, and you do, you're do you going to lose some friends along the way. Are you though? Well, yeah, I think you will because they must probably hang out there? together all the time. You see, when I was uh, younger, I, I could never break up with anyone. I was terrible. Yeah. No, so I had to wait for them to break up with me. Push them oh in the my corner. god, you do that thing that guys do. Yeah, I'm it's useless. so irritating when guys do that. You just like sit around like waiting for the relationship to get worse and worse yeah, and yeah, worse yeah, yeah, and yeah. worse. So girls should pick up on this a little quicker. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I hate that because then the chicks have to take all their emotional responsibility for something. And you know the worst is? Then guys will generally go like, we victim, victim, blah, 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 without actually, you know, taking yeah. responsibility for the fact that they were as contributory to the breakdown of the relationship as anything else. Amazingly, we're not that stupid. 
I know. So why do you act so stupid all the time? Because it works for us. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, my God. No, listen, all listen. I can say to this chick is don't be the douchebag that some guys are usually with that. Just yes. snippity snip, make the cuts. Barber and trick, move on. cut off. There we go. And be nice about it. Don't drag it out. You know what? I think it's a very good point because it's not as though like they hate each other. She just says that you know, that's it. They haven't fought or anything. She's just like you know what, time out or whatever. And you right. can break it, and and you know you could even remain mates if you wanted to. And what's the what happens if you don't do that? You know what some people do? What? They get married. Yes. They, the they don't have any chemistry, so they really try and like you know zhuzh it up by then getting married or having kids or something. Yes. Just like Yes. Just good enough is not a good enough reason to stay with someone. Being afraid to hurt someone's feelings is not a good enough reason to stay in a relationship because you're hurting their feelings anyway by not being authentic and not being honest with why you're there. So rather man up or woman up, get some ovaries or balls or whatever it is you need to do and stand firm in what you want in life and what you want in a relationship and have some integrity, my God. Ugh. Yeah, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> tell her. Tell her. And then also, don't just jump into the sack with the other guy. Give it a couple of yeah, hours. Yeah, give it a few weeks. But I also think that, you know, hours. there's a thing, you know, the serial monogamists? No. You know what that is? Oh, uh, huh. <laughs> yes, of course. That's like someone who just goes from like one long term relationship to another long term relationship uh, instead of just taking some time out in between. And maybe that's what you would need to do after this before you start, you know, batting eyelids or eyelashes or whatever it is yeah. at the friend. Maybe just take some time out, be single for a bit, and then start flirting on the side. And, you know, nobody needs any more information than what they need. Brilliant advice, Dottie. Wonderful. When are you coming to Joburg again? I don't know. I've got no plans. Besides, I might look. I might make a sojourn up to the north, um, just so I can get some summer when winter really hits here. Yeah. Well, it's not our fault that you live there, but that's cute. Yes. No, oh, but you should come up here. But if you do come up here, would you promise maybe to make contact? You know. Uh... Oh, so should we be doing this again? Because I think every time you've come to Cape Town, you're just oh so terribly busy to meet for coffee. Well, I. And that hurts I, my feelings. I know. Okay. All that right. That hurts my feelings. We're, I have feelings. You, know? you see, we're both guilty here. Oh, okay. So we're taking mutual yeah. responsibility. Look at that. I, I made a step forward just from your own advice. <laughs> Moving mountains yeah. one Wednesday I, at a time. I know. Unbelievable. Listen, <laughs> you have a magnificent day and we look forward to chatting to you next week. Thank you, darling. Take care. Bye. Balls.co.za.